Gamers, how's it going? Today, I bring you hand duplication as in part of the diet plan. This is a scheduled thing that I do every week. There's four parts of this thing. I'm just getting my notes out so I can talk intelligently about it. Um, there's invention, education, and tracing. This was a uh, hour sketch, which I speeded up like two times. <laughs> so that's what you see me doing. I replaced the audio with what you're hearing today so that uh, we don't have to get the whole entire hour of you sitting here. <laughs> don't want to waste your time. Um, I put this together so that you can find use of what is going on in this video here. I have uh, a lot of interesting things here, so let's uh, jump into it. Looking at this hand duplication, we have little boxes scattered throughout the hand. What I was doing was trying to measure out how I can fill parts of the hand. The big thumb, the little thumb, index finger, the pinky. So I would take uh, these boxes and, and try to arrange them around on the image. So we're not looking on the knuckles side, we're looking on the palm side of the hand. So there's like extra skin, there's bumps and bruises, but we're not concerned about that. Those things all draw our attention away. Here I'm just focusing on the silhouette and just putting the shapes in their respective spots. Uh, throughout this uh, video, which I don't really show here, it's hard to see in this stream, I am calling out different commands that I'm doing, like command, uh, let's see my notes, command J, command E, command something, command this and that, and I'm trying to resize and adjust the boxes and fit them on each finger. While I'm doing this, I'm also arranging my uh, layers into folders, which helps a lot in terms of putting things in, uh, in order so I can find them easily. So I would have my singles, my triplets, my doubles, all in their respective folders. Yeah, so let's keep going and go into the second half of this stream. Okay, here we are, back to the second half of the stream. Um, just looking over my notes, and I have something written here that I really like, or the wording of it that I like. Lay of the land. I wrote here that it's an idea of what of how the whole hand feels, like the distances. Um, so as I'm placing these boxes, I'm starting to understand kind of like a map, like breaking down this thing. And like proportions, you, you start seeing it, like maybe the thumb on the bottom right, you can see that, you know, it takes up two uh, squares versus one. So. Okay, now we're switching to another screen so you don't see the thumb anymore. But I think I'm looking for more references to get more ideas. So it looks like I'm going to move into using a skeleton now. Uh, but going back to what I was saying, you want to go through all of this stuff and try to duplicate this uh, on another day. And that would be your invention day. You just sit there for an hour and try to recall some of these distances and try to build up that library of, of what you've learned. So uh, let's break real quick and move into the second half of this piece. Okay, uh, finally the third half. Here we are focusing on a skeleton hand. I'm using circles here instead of uh, boxes or 
singles from the other hand that I was working on. Circles are also another tool that you can use here. There's joints, so not getting like big on like covering a lot of space. So if you want to get more precise, that's what circles will help me with. So I'm doing the same technique as before, just laying out the singles, the doubles, and the quads, and positioning them near the joints. Nothing particularly special to say about this, but it just makes it easier to arrange them and move them around. I think we are, yeah, we're just about done here. Uh, if you stayed this long, uh, thank you for staying this long. If you have any feedback or comments about this style, let me know. Looking forward to you and seeing you again. Additionally, I hope that you find this video useful and hopefully on your journey while becoming an artist, you'll find success.